through the great work of Congressman Chris Smith, we know that 112 plans offered to congressional employees and members, only nine offer, uh, ex uh, nine policies exclude abortion coverage. And I have his flyer that he handed out to us. Madam Secretary, you promised last time you were here that you would provide me a national list of those who cover and those who do not cover abortion and abortion services. We have yet to receive that list. Now, folks are shopping now. And, and I'll, I'll tell you, when we went through this last time, we received a call from my office from someone in the country who was pro-abortion, thanking me for that question because they want to know. We need that list, Madam Secretary. And if they're shopping today, we need that list today. When will you provide that? Sir, every plan lists plan benefits, and the one plan benefit that they must list by law is abortion services. So as a shopper goes on, I would highly recommend that they look in the plan benefit section last check time, for the coverage they're interested okay, in. Okay, last time I was here, I held up numerous policies that would not explain that. In, in, in essence, the you promised to provide the list of those insurance plans all we're asking is for you to keep your promise. It's the summary of benefits and plans. I guess we could go on. Will you provide us a list? Um, I will ask the DC. You Martin promised last that. time. Sir, it is on the website. Will you promise a list? If it's on the website, it, can you it provide It is available. It is can available Can you provide us a list? Customer. Gentlemen, it's time. Uh, Mr. Madam Secretary, were you able to answer the gentleman's previous question? Did you have, were you able to complete Pardon your answer? Me? Were you able to, uh, to completely answer the question that, that the gentleman asked prior? Um, I assume so. Uh, 